Okay, we're gonna be swapping out the batteries on this uh, Permobil C500. It's actually a pretty straightforward process. There's two battery compartments. There's one on the left side, and there's one over here on the right side. These uh, basically swing down, the batteries slide out pretty easily. This chair has a seat elevator on it, which is gonna make the process a lot easier. So start off by raising the seat elevator all the way up. And essentially, all we need to do for this cover is remove this uh, fastener right here. And on a lot of these chairs, it's actually captive, so when it's loose, uh, it will stay attached to the chair, like that. The main circuit breaker on these chairs is right here, so you can go ahead and turn that off. And then we're gonna wanna remove this screw right here. These are usually fairly tight, so I use pliers or needle nose pliers or something like that. You should be careful though, because doing this will score up the plastic, as you can see here. I couldn't find my needle nose pliers, so I'm kinda marking it up a little bit. <laughs> then once you get that partially loose, you can see here there's sort of a uh, piece of the plastic that goes through this upper cover. So you'll want to take a flat blade screwdriver or something and just carefully pry. There we go. Once that's popped loose, you can go ahead and unscrew this the rest of the way. And again, you'll want to be careful taking that off because you will scratch the plastics doing it the way I did just now. Once that's loose, this is a little door that's basically just going to swing down like this. And our batteries are right inside here. I might have to completely remove the top cover to do this. That would probably be the best way to do it. To remove the top cover, we've got two more of these thumb screws right here. So we're just gonna pull these out. And these will come all the way out. They're not captive like the one in the back. And then there's gonna be four little plastic rivets that hold this panel on here. There is a tool specifically for this, um, but I'm just using a flat blade screwdriver. And they'll probably go flying, so you want to keep an eye on where those go. Okay, and we'll take this little piece all the way off here. Keep track of our little plastic pieces. And now this entire upper cover should come off. Uh, there's another latch over here or a catch on the plastic, so this will kind of have to be pried off as well. There we go. And now we can grab the entire upper cover, lift it up, pull it off towards the back, and then we're gonna have a connection here for the auxiliary charging jack. This just pulls apart, just like that, color-coded. Set this off to the side, and now we can actually see our batteries. Um, like I said, these ones are a little bit big for the chair, and they just kind of barely fit in here and the terminals are sticking up, so... Uh, ordinarily, you're gonna have batteries that are shorter like that and they'll have flat tops, as opposed to these with the terminals sticking up. Okay, we'll grab our McSockets and basically just pull these connections off. Pretty straightforward. Assuming you have the right size socket. As you can see here, I kind of put some tape in because that's a little bit close to the frame there. Uh, so we'll slide this out just a little bit. We can gain access to this, get this other terminal removed. Now all the battery cables on this particular chair should be labeled uh, red and black, but in case they're not, just you know, take note of the battery, add your own labels with masking tape if you need to, so everything gets put back the way it should. Okay, cables are now free, and we can slide this piece of garbage out of here. Ew, gross, it's a Duracell. And same process over on this side. Unhook this little screw here. I don't know why these things are so difficult to remove. Like I said, needle nose pliers are usually the better way to doing this so you're not galling up all the plastic and making it look like garbage. This thumb screw is really not wanting to cooperate, but we're getting it slowly. Almost looks like someone put Loctite on it, actually. There we go. Um, oh, I see what's going on. There's a retaining clip here, and it's uh, screwed down tight. All right, well, anyways, same process over here. 
remove the battery cables. And I'll slide the battery out a little bit to get to that back one. And of course it's a different size. Right tool for the jab. Okay, there we go. Got our cables out of the way. Slide this garbage out of here. And here we've got our brand new, lightly used MK Power Group 34 flat tops. So I'll pull our wiring out of the way here so it's not going to interfere. Uh, take a look and see. Make sure our cables are correct. Slide this in here. And actually the terminals on this battery are opposite of the other one that was in there. But we have plenty of wire to be able to reach over there. Um, so yeah, go ahead and get these reconnected now. And a lot of times it's going to be easier to uh, hook up the wires before you push the battery completely in. That way you can get to everything. These C500s are pretty universal. You can fit a lot of different kinds of batteries in here. Sizes and types and even the... Uh, the direction that the or the sides that the positive and negative terminals are on you can usually get away with uh, putting pretty much anything in there okay those are on rubber boots are on we'll jam this into place make sure our wiring is not pinched and let's do the other side I would like to point out though no matter which batteries you use make sure the terminals are on this side you do not want them sliding under this metal part there is a plastic protective cover here but uh, you want to make sure the terminals are in along the back of the chair and there should be enough cable to run them either direction, no matter which positive and negative is located on the battery. But yes, very important. Okay, both batteries are now reconnected, and just because I'm a weirdo, I've added a foam block up here and my usual cardboard on the edges, just to keep things from rattling. So we'll get these little side doors uh, closed up here, tighten down these thumb screws all the way, and same thing over on this side, close it up, and get our little thumb screws tightened all the way down. Before we completely close it up, let's turn our circuit breaker back on, power up the chair, make sure it boots up and everything's good. All right, we've got green lights, thing moves. Turn it back off and now we can replace the top cover. And here's what it looks like from the back with the cover removed, so you can kind of get an idea. I just have the left and right batteries there. All right, let's stick that thing back on. Just slide this right on here. Then let's go around to the other side. And you want to remember to reattach your auxiliary uh, charging port. Uh, just line up the colors, put it back on there. And you should have a seat stabilizer, so you just want to make sure that pops through the hole. Line these up. That'll snap on. Then this side will snap on. Tighten down the rear thumb screw. Make sure these little pieces of fabric are still in here properly. We'll put this little cover back on. There we go, line up the holes. These little clips here will basically just push through. Sometimes they don't want to go through very easily, so I have to use like a screwdriver or something just to kind of push them down a little harder. There we go, a little bit of force. Last one goes over here. And then the last thing are the front thumb screws. These might take a little bit of lining up. Uh, the plastic's not always gonna be touching the frame. So it may take a little bit of work to get these in here. But once you got them in place, just basically cinch them down. And you're done. Lower this thing back down and you're ready to rock and roll.